I still remember the first time my brother and I watched Scorpion's Awesome Threesome Fatality at the library. We got in trouble because we were laughing so hard. Deeper Cut was one of the most notable veterans in the YTP community. But that isn't just nostalgia talking. I'm going to explain, in detail, why Deeper Cut was, and is, a legend. Everyone knows about the pause between the joke and the punchline, but Deeper Cut also uses similar pauses after the punchline, either through silence or unedited footage. It's almost like a palate cleanser, it prepares you for the next joke. Jackie, the coolest thing ever happened, I went right off the bridge but I didn't fall, I all finished after for the bridge but I didn't fall, I stopped a minute and then I fall right off the bridge just like in cartoons! I can fly! Deeper Cut's masterful use of timing gets me to laugh more. Deeper Cut demonstrated a great sense of visual comedy. Sound effects and sentence mixing are funny, but they need visuals to back them up. You can get a laugh just because of a scene's staging. Stuff popping up into the frame is funny. Stuff leaving the frame can be funny. A zoom. Match cuts. I will not rest until I have my revenge. And then there's those scenes with the unfitting but so awesome music that just makes you go, what the heck is going on here? Also, these various techniques are alternated, so they don't become overused. Deeper Cut's use of simple editing tools is effective. Cutting from one shot to another, mixing sentences, only occasionally using chroma key to overlay clips. The focus is less on the quality of the effects, and more on the overall content. That scientist goes berserk and we don't have squirrels! I heard Spider-Man was there. These jokes don't need you to get them to be funny. Lots and lots of attention to detail. Deeper Cut loved extremely brief and precise edits, audio, video, and text. Let's all go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. He made a genuinely good effort to match the mouth with the dialogue. And then there's all of that unreadably fast text that only shows up for a single frame. Deeper Cut carefully chose content that was already funny, and then the resulting video plays to the strengths of the original and comes off as a transformative work. And this means that these jokes are enjoyable even without the original context. For example, Peter, you're a nice guy, but you just have deeper cut. Did you get that joke? I didn't. But I laughed anyway because I wanted to. I get the feeling Deeper Cut has a real love and respect for his source material, even when he's mashing it up and putting dumb jokes in it. When I was young, I always liked cartoon. I really hope someday I want to be a cartoon character. Cartoon can do all kinds of things. I cannot do it with my real life. And also, I want to show my children, my grandchildren, look, that's your grandfather. That's your, 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 your father. After so many, so many, so many years later, People, the children, still can remember me. Today, my dream come true. I love cartoon. Sometimes, there isn't even a new joke. It's just the video pausing for a split second to zoom in on something he thought was funny. It's like you're both watching the video together, and he's pointing stuff out to you. He's laughing, and that makes you want to laugh along with him. So that's why I think Deeper Cut is an absolute legend. How long you been in the robot game?